There is encouraging news tonight on two fronts in the search for treatments for coronavirus. One Maryland company says its experimental vaccine produced antibodies in more than 50 people, while two other companies say they may have found a way to create synthetic antibodies that could treat patients who already have the virus. CBS News chief medical correspondent Dr. John LaPoo continues our series, Racing to a Cure. Tonight, Eli Lilly, in collaboration with the National Institutes of Health, announced they're trying something new, a lab-engineered treatment called monoclonal antibodies to stop the virus from spreading in the body. NIH director Dr. Francis Collins. That monoclonal antibody sticks right to the part of this spike protein that represents the part that binds to the human cell and lets the virus get inside. So you cover that up and the virus has nowhere to go. In contrast to convalescent plasma taken from survivors' blood, monoclonal antibodies can be manufactured in large amounts in a lab. In a similar effort, Regeneron is working on its own synthetic antibody treatment. Dr. Mezgebe Berhe is running the trial. But if I treat you now, can I prevent the possibility of progression and hospital admission? Can I uh, improve your recovery time? Can I also prevent transmission to other people? Meanwhile, tonight, Maryland-based Novavax says two studies of its experimental vaccine are showing positive results. In a phase one vaccine trial, all 131 participants had antibodies and no serious side effects. And in the other, the vaccine protected baboons from the COVID-19 virus. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News.